In this video, we are going to be talking about a game-changing dictation app for Mac. So if you are still using something like the native Mac dictation, then you can just forget about it right now, because I'm going to show you something revolutionary that is going to completely change the way in which you use voice while using your computer. And especially, it's going to work perfectly if you are bilingual. So let me just show you what is it all about. The app is called Voice Inc. And it's an app that allows you to dictate seamlessly uh, using AI to vastly improve your productivity. So how about I just show you how it works. Uh, let's just move to uh, one of the chatbots. Uh, I think right now we are in a different era where especially we are working from home, plus we are using all of these AI chatbots all the time. So how about instead of typing, we just use our voice to communicate with them. So let me just uh, show you how it works. Right now I'm doing a quick test of this new Voice Inc app that is going to vastly improve the productivity of anyone who is going to try it. All right, you can see that it's transcribing over here and uh, that it basically transcribed my voice perfectly, just perfectly. And you can go on like this for a really long time and it's going to be working excellently fine. And the best thing is that it's working in um, different languages. Uh, so for example, hola. Como estás hoy? You see, it even works with um, the punctuation, the grammar, the whole thing. Okay, and um, you can see that I just uh, used a single sentence here, but what if I wanted to do uh, a couple of uh, different sentences? Just really quickly, just to show you the power of this whole thing. I want to create a powerful digital marketing strategy that is going to revolutionize my digital business. I need a full spectrum of marketing channels that I can use to dominate my market. Okay, and once more, it's transcribing and you can see that it's including punctuation and the whole thing. Uh, so, it's perfect, especially if you are bilingual. It's really accurate. So now let me just show you a few more details uh, about uh, this app. So you can just uh, see exactly um, what is it and what are the options, what are the settings and how much is it and so on and so forth. So just bear with me here for a moment and I'm going to walk you through the whole thing. All right, so here we are in the main dashboard. Again, this is a, an app that is working for Mac. Uh, you can see that I'm uh, 2.1 times faster with Voice Inc. Uh, and it shows you uh, these statistics, which are uh, quite um, motivating, I would say. Uh, as you can see, I already dictated for more than three hours. Uh, I typed uh, for eight hours, mm, but I saved uh, like four hours um, with the speed of my dictation, right? I already uh, dictated over 1,600 words, uh, sorry, 16,000 words uh, to this app. So that's quite substantial. Uh, I had 707 uh, voice to text sessions. My average words per minute is 73. Uh, and words per session 23. So you can see here the little uh, graph. Um, so what exactly is this app doing besides uh, just dictation? It also has the transcribe uh, audio feature, which is fantastic. Usually in the past, it would uh, take quite a lot of time and some kind of technical know-how or a lot of money to transcribe audio. Uh, but now, you can do it for free, basically in any language. This is not a subscription app. It's basically um, one payment only app. So you can get a lifetime value. Uh, then you can just see your history here. 
uh, then you have the AI models that you can uh, choose from. Uh, so uh, I picked the large V3 Turbo. I was experimenting with uh, a few of these um, models uh, and you can see that over here you can add a custom model. You have cloud models, but then it has uh, it requires some extra setup. Then you can even run local models. And then you have the list of um, recommended models. Okay, so you can just check which one is uh, going to work best for you. For me, it's this one uh, because um, I don't really care so much about the speed. I care more about the accuracy because then I don't have to fix uh, the errors that AI made. So then actually it's faster for me. But for example, over here, if you are just speaking uh, English, uh, we have something like um, tiny, tiny English. So then this is optimized just for maximum speed. So you can see the speed is 9.5 and accuracy is lower. But if you are just speaking English, uh, or let's say you can choose base English, uh, then it has speed 8.5, accuracy 7.5. So it all depends on um, your vibe and the number of languages that you are speaking. The next thing we have is enhancement. Um, so you can turn on AI powered enhancement features. So we can even show the context of your screen uh, to the app and it's going to recognize. I prefer not to use it, but um, you know, and not to use clipboard context, uh, but I use the um, enable enhancement. So basically that says AI enhancement lets you pass the transcribed audio through LLMs to post process using different prompts suitable for different use cases like email summary writing, etc. So I have found that it slightly uh, increases the accuracy of the dictation. Okay, but let's move uh, forward. We also have the um, power mode. Uh, so I haven't even <laughs> gotten to uh, using that, uh, but uh, I think I will uh, pretty soon. It's basically for automating your workflows with context aware configurations. So automatically apply custom configurations based on the app website you are using. Okay, so I. I haven't found any use for this uh, as of yet, but I think I will. Uh, so you can just add um, these um, extra kind of prompts, uh, for example, when to trigger when a specific application is open or when a website is open, and then you can uh, give it some um, special commands. So perhaps this is going to be useful. Uh, but for now, I'm just using it for dictation. Then you have permissions. Of course, you have to um, set up your keyboard shortcut, microphone access, accessibility access, screen recording access. Um, so uh, this is pretty crazy, uh, but I think we have all agreed as a society that we don't care about privacy anymore. Uh, we just want productivity and everybody has our data. So uh, I'm just rolling with it here. Uh, it's extremely useful for me. Um, so I just gave these permissions uh, to the app. Then you can select the voice input uh, and you can even prioritize it. Okay, so I'm just using my MacBook Pro microphone. So, and it's using, it's just working perfectly fine. So you don't even need any fancy uh, microphone or audio equipment for this to work. You can just use your regular MacBook Pro microphone, but just in the settings, the sound settings, make sure uh, to um, increase the, the input level to the max so it can pick up uh, the audio. But you can also use other microphones if you prefer. Uh, then you can even set up a custom dictionary here so you can enhance Voice Inc's transcription accuracy by teaching it your vocabulary, which is uh, quite cool. You have word replacements, you have correct spellings. Uh, I haven't uh, set it up yet because Actually, it's mostly just working perfectly fine. So I don't see the need. And then you have uh, settings. So you can set up everything as you wish, especially when it comes to the hotkeys. Mm, you can set up 
a custom hotkey or you can choose from these different options just like with the regular Mac dictation and then we have the paste last transcription so you can set up a shortcut for that you have a recording feedback so sound feedback and mute system audio during recording these settings like thank you Thank you, developer, for uh, creating these settings because they are saving my life. I always have music playing in the background. So now when I start uh, dictating, the uh, music playback will just stop, which is fantastic. And I have this little kind of sound feedback. So a little kind of sound when I start dictation. So it uh, allows me to get into this um, dictation mood or like I know with the sound feedback, I know that it's now working. Okay, and then you can set up some experimental features that might be a bit unstable and buggy. So <laughs> I opted out of that. Uh, and you can even um, change the style of the recorder. As you can see, I have this um, notch recorder, but you can also, like the, the one that appears just over here. Uh, let me just show you the thing. Right now we are testing the notch recorder, so you can see exactly how it looks. All right, but then we have the mini recorder. Right now we are testing the mini recorder, so you can also see how it looks. Wow. Actually, the mini recorder is uh, better. Before, it wasn't so nice. The app is just being updated all the time, so it's getting better and better. Then you have like the paste method, app appearance, um, and data and privacy. So it automatically cleans up all of the audio within seven days. So that's why I was, uh, you know, a little bit tricky about the permissions. But you can just run the cleanup and uh, all of this data will be erased. And then uh, you can launch it at login, uh, do automatic updates, etc., uh, etc. Et mm. And as you can see, I have the Voice Ink Pro. Uh, I think it's completely worth it, especially now that uh, it still has the lifetime subscription. Okay, so now that you see like the whole magic here, uh, let me just show you um, the website. You can just grab it at tryvoiceinc.com. I'm not affiliated with this app, but I absolutely love it, so it's great. Even the free version is uh, just completely um, great. Um, and uh, let's just see how much it is right now. Uh, I think I've showed you basically all of the main features. Um, but, okay, as you can see, you have a personal license and a team license. Uh, team license is for $159. The personal license is only $25. Uh, or you can go with two devices, so $39, three devices, $49. It's absolutely great. You have a 40-day money-back guarantee. Um, I would highly recommend it. It's just, it completely transformed the way in which I work. Uh, and... Mm, the native Apple dictation is just completely obsolete. It should be just, the, the, Apple should be ashamed that they still have such an inferior product. So AI, as uh, again, is just changing the game here. Uh, I hope that you are going to enjoy uh, this um, app and uh, it's truly the best a Mac voice dictation app that I have tried so far. Uh, and uh, thank you for watching this video. Perhaps now you can just watch uh, one of these other videos I have on my channel, for example, about uh, the top marketing tools that you can use every day, maybe also with this Voice Ink app. See you later.